Hello, my name is Linda Artisani, Artisani Bookkeeping, and I just wanted to do a brief video on how to connect your bank account onto QuickBooks Online and then also how to get the back transactions. So you get 90 days when you connect your bank key. So here's my checking account, and to connect that account, I'm just going to click Connect Account. I'm going to find my bank, which happens to be Bank of America. Put in my online ID. Put in my passcode. and then click I'm not a robot. I have to do that a lot nowadays. And I'm gonna sign in. This should pull in my transactions now. I'm gonna just check and click, select my checking account, hit connect. It's truly that simple. Eventually it's gonna tell me, yay, you're connected. And then I will have the last 90 days worth of transactions, which it's March, so January, February, and March will be covered here, and then I'm gonna hit Let's Go. So I've got 145 transactions to code, and you've got several tabs here, but I wanna go back, let's just say I wanna go all the way back to October. So how do I do that? Well, once you've got your bank feed connected, and that's the main thing to start, you wanna make sure you've got your bank feed connected, and then you're gonna come over here to Update. And then I'm going to file upload. Now I've already downloaded my file. So I came to Bank of America and I created a bank feed file by going to download and then created these dates and selected a web connect for QuickBooks 2014 and above. You can select um, the Quicken file will be, able, will be able to be pulled in the QAF. You can also bring in a CSV, but you usually have to, you can download from Excel. So depending on your bank, you may not get the choice of Web Connect QuickBooks 2014. You may get Quicken. Excel is a little bit different. You usually have to convert it. Um, it doesn't always import in as nicely as the other files do. And um, there are tools out there, or you can, as you can see, CSV, QFX, QBO, or OFX format only. So if you have Excel, you can save that file and then reformat it so that it pulls the transactions in. Um, I have a tool that can do that. It's a little bit complicated and I believe there's a YouTube video out there that will show you that. So I'm gonna go find that file that I just uploaded and I know it's in my downloads and I know it's here because it was the last thing I downloaded. Come over here and I'm going to hit next. And I want it to go into that bank account so I wanna make sure it finds my checking account and I just did October 1st. Now there were some December transactions in there that are gonna overlap. Those will come in as duplicates and you'll need to exclude them. So now I should have transactions that go all the way back to October 1st. As you can see, there they are. So those weren't in there before. So now I have them in there and that's how simple it is to upload a file. So that's how easy it is to connect your bank account, and then go back and get the extra file or last year's data if you're trying to pull that in at the same time. Of course, you need to reconcile to make sure everything is accurate after you've coded it and downloaded it. Bank feeds are not always perfect. Sometimes things come in, I call them a hiccup at the bank side. The bank will send the data in, maybe not correct, so the reconciliation process will help you clear that out. If you have any questions, comments, please feel free to post on my Facebook page. If you have any videos or anything you'd like to learn about, please let me know there. I hope this was helpful to get some of that back bank feeds downloaded into your file. Thank you. Bye now.